Hey everyone, it's your favorite host. I'm thrilled to be back with you all. I've been reflecting on some of the comments on this channel about the whole situation with Ashanti, Nelly, and his crew. There's been a lot to unpack, and I've been learning a few things as well. Of course, everything is alleged, and these are just opinions. I appreciate all of your insights, and I think we can have a grown-up conversation about it. I've been thinking about the psyche behind some of these public behaviors. Sometimes I wonder if I'd even want to know what people are truly thinking, especially when they're so vocal about it. It can get a bit questionable. Take Miss J, for instance. She puts everything out there, and it makes me wonder. I'm still caught up on this whole tongue thing. You tune in to see what the latest is, and it seems like she's been turning up a lot lately. It makes you think, why? Who needs to tell her to take a seat and calm down? Nellie is locked in, and it's clear that some people struggle with being genuinely happy for someone who has moved on. Why stay in an unhealthy relationship? You can sense the vibes when someone isn't right for you. I'm not saying that's what happened with Nellie and Miss J, but relationships change over time. Some people just thrive on seeing others happy and want to throw shade. It's like, if she wears white, you have to wear white. If she leads a prayer, you need to be seen in a prayer circle too. It's interesting how some people latch onto names and relationships to stay relevant. I'm not saying that's what Chantel Jackson is doing, but her name still buzzing shows she's doing something. If it's helping her, then fine. However, I've heard allegations about her trying to distract Ashanti, but Ashanti remains unbothered and professional. She's been performing and holding it down, and I admire that. More people should take a page out of her book and focus on positivity. Unfortunately, there's division among women, whether it's mothers against daughters or cousins against cousins. It's not just women, but since the focus is on Chantel, it's worth mentioning. Embracing negative influences just to feel validated isn't the way. Some people naturally shine and remain humble, while others create confusion. It's important to be yourself, stay humble, and have a pure heart. In relationships, being positive and encouraging should be the goal. Looking at Nelly and Ashanti, it seems genuine, and I hope they continue to grow together. As for Chantel, I hope she finds someone suited for her if that's what she wants. Focusing on Nelly won't help her move forward. Chasing after men or using your body as a means to get attention isn't worth it. It's about much more than that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button for latest celebrity stories every day.